Science exists as a way to provide answers to the pressing questions that we have about ourselves, the world around us, and even what lies beyond our own planet and solar system. Mysteries that have remained unsolved for decades can finally be put to rest with the development of better scientific technologies and elements of ourselves and our world that we had no idea even existed can come to light thanks to the marvels of scientific research. Luckily, we live in a world where science has developed enough to finally answer age-old questions and discover these things that we did not even know in the first place. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into science discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Mysterious Continuously Active Object Discovered in Jupiter's Orbit a suspected Trojan asteroid has recently been found circling in Jupiter's orbit. The mystery behind it is that scientists have never seen anything quite like it. This strange object is known officially as 2019 LD2 and is reported to have what astronomers are calling a comet-like tail. This tail is composed of stardust and various cosmic gases. The first time 2019 LD2 was spotted, was by the Atlas Telescope System during the summer of 2019 by the University of Hawaii. But it was not until autumn of 2019 that investigations into the nature of the object officially began. It was then that they suspected it was a Trojan asteroid. It reappeared in the spring of 2020 when researchers found that it had been active for almost a year. Trojan asteroids are ancient. Because of this, they often lack materials such as ice water on their surface to suggest they are more than just another deceased, lifeless satellite. But 2019 LD2's sudden activeness suggests that it was recently reintroduced to new materials or materials from deep within started to react and leave the asteroid's core. According to Alan Fitzsimmons, who was one of the researchers that identified the object, we have believed for decades that Trojan asteroids should have large amounts of ice beneath their surfaces, but never had any evidence until now. Atlas has shown that the predictions of their icy nature may well be correct. Neptune has dozens of Trojan asteroids, Earth has one, and Jupiter allegedly has hundreds of thousands. However, few if any are active, all but 2019 LD2. Scientists are not sure what triggered 2019 LD2 to become active, but the most prevalent theory is that it collided with another asteroid that sent it into a proper orbit. But more research has to be conducted. Larry Deneau, the co-principal investigator of the Atlas project, claims, even though the Atlas system is designed to search for dangerous asteroids, Atlas sees another rare phenomena in our solar system and beyond while scanning the sky. A Trojan asteroid, as the name suggests, is not really an asteroid. Neither is it a comet. It's something else. The name likewise implies that although the natural satellite may take the appearance of a comet or asteroid, it might have unexpected minerals or materials hidden within. The most common Trojan asteroid are those that follow Jupiter's orbit, but as mentioned, every one of them is considered deceased. Jupiter obtained this colossal number of deceased asteroids over a billion years ago, with some joining some time afterwards. But the majority of the asteroids lifelessly floating near Jupiter predate humanity, as many things in space often do. Jupiter's immense gravity draws these loose, rogue asteroids with its gravity field, keeping them in place. If you were to travel to Jupiter, you would surely see the celestial swarm of these extraordinary asteroids from miles away seemingly adorning the gas giant. However, after months of in-depth research into the object, it was found that the mysterious object was, in fact, a comet, removing the theory of it being a Trojan unknown object. Comets are far more fascinating than asteroids because they tend to have a wispy tail and glowing aura surrounding them, explaining the object's tail. This doesn't change the fact that it's suddenly activated, seemingly by itself. Alongside the collision theory is the landslide theory that a landslide happened on 2019 LD2's surface, causing this reaction. We know very little about Trojan asteroids. NASA is planning on launching a probe to research them up close between 2027 and 2033, which could provide valuable wisdom into Jupiter's past, but also how asteroids and planets form 
and more so how they truly work. Uranus was once slammed by a rogue space body. We have eight planets in our solar system and a notable shout out to Pluto. But aside from Earth with us here on it, there is one planet that is particularly quirky. In the July of 2018, several studies were able to confirm that Uranus has some relatively strange behaviors, one of which being its out of the ordinary rotation system, spinning at a 90 degree angle compared to the other planets in the solar system. Following this discovery, we have to ask ourselves why this happened, and there are some theories in the works. Some researchers have suggested that a large-scale impact might have left Uranus a little different than the planetary pals alongside it. A team of UK-based researchers in the December of 2018 added some more fuel to this theory, releasing a simulation of what would happen if a body twice the size of Earth hit Uranus. A description of what would happen recounted that a large amount of the material from the unknown body's core would fall into the core of Uranus. If this was a high angular momentum impact, then a large amount of the core of the body could become embedded within the ice layer, forming lumps. So, if this theory is in fact correct, that leaves the question of when did this happen? Some scientists have suggested this huge collision may have been an event that took place millions of years ago, even before Uranus's moons had formed. Of course, not everyone jumped into agreement with the simulation. A debate predictably began, with some people forming conspiracies suggesting that the Earth had a similar fate awaiting in its future, with the alleged Planet Nine being the cause. The existence of Planet Nine is purely hypothetical, though it is an alleged planet that orbits outside of Neptune. It seems that we do not have anything to be concerned about anytime soon nonetheless. Could this collision be what happened to Uranus, and is it possible that a mysterious body in the solar system could mean that Earth one day meets a similar fate? Earth's black box will tell future civilizations about the end of humanity. Have you ever considered what will happen if or when humans go extinct? Who will outlive us? How will our histories and legacies be heard? What will become of the Earth? Well, scientists have begun constructing Earth's very own black box, designed fundamentally to outlive us all as a means to ensure there is evidence left behind detailing humanity's accomplishments. The massive indestructible box will record scientific data intended to provide a narrative to future civilizations as to what happened to humanity. The documented story of our rise and fall, if you will. The exact details of the project are as follows. The black box will be constructed from an immense steel monolith of 3-inch thick steel and installed in a remote location in Tasmania. It will use a system of internet-connected storage devices powered by solar panels on the box's roof, so that should the power grids go down, this box will still survive. The device will mimic the black boxes used in airplane crashes and cars, hence its name, and will collect information to relay to future investigators. But this one will serve the whole planet. Variables aiming to be recorded include mainly climate data such as atmospheric CO2 levels, sea temperatures and energy consumption levels. Additionally, it will aim to retrieve more socially contextual data, such as news headlines and social media use and posts. Altogether, these will be able to paint a somewhat holistic picture of humanity before its downfall, should we have one, as well as changes our planet and societies faced up until the end. Not only will future inhabitants be able to learn about us, but it is intended that this data also advises them against making any mistakes we do. Jim Curtis, the executive creative director at Cleminger BBDO, hopes that should life on Earth crash as a result of climate change, that this indestructible recording device will be there for whoever is left to learn from that. With such measures of forward planning being taken, primarily to explain and warn others against our potential downfall as a species and planet, it reminds us of the need to look after and protect what we can, taking climate change warnings seriously and doing our bit to help ensure our future survival. It also is quite amazing to think that a black box, such as what we fit into various vehicles, will be constructed to cover the whole planet and provide such complex amounts of data.
but what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.